Uh, in today's video, we uh, in the last we tried to you know develop a sense of awareness for an increasing threat to the cognitive function, which is almost becoming a pandemic. In today's video, we will continue our search for discovering some practical ways for preventing uh, cognitive decline and that too when we are encountered with some trauma, especially related with the brain like a brain stroke. And you know that uh, the practical steps will be that how was I able to, you know, uh, you know keep uh, myself strong, my cognitive function strong. And in the last video we discussed the power of empathy. When we are going through uh, some testing time, some uh, trauma, if we realize and feel for the suffering of the people around us, and by the way, who are going through this torture only because poor souls, they love us and care for us. And mind you, they are perturbed only seeing us in pain and agony. And at this crucial time, if we could, uh, you know, gather strength and try to, you know, awaken uh, that sense of empathy for these poor people and try to take care of them in some way or the other, our pain and agony will greatly decrease. As you remember last time I said, this is how when I felt for the pitiable, you know, condition of my wife uh, while I was, you know, transferred, transferring, sent to the hospital, taken to the hospital. And I tried to do something to relax her. Greatly it strengthened me, by the way. And this was within the first, you know, hour of the, you know, trauma. This was a unique experience of trying to assess the situation as an outsider. Now, detaching myself from me and removing me from my problems for a while. And, uh, by the way, uh, I started to perceive, as I started to perceive, others' pain and agony has started the onset of the miracles in my life. Now, this is one great gift of gift of maintaining a positive perspective, positive perception, even in the worst of the predicaments, situation. And there are magical rewards of empathy. One of the highest traits of mankind, by the way, we all know, and hence we could conclude that uh, stronger we keep our sense of empathy, stronger remains our cognitive abilities. Now, how to achieve this, I, you know, giving you the link below, and that is buying happiness at the lowest price, is giving free smiles. The link is below. By the way, below this video, by the way, attaining the wonder is not difficult if we get used to this selfless sacrifice of caring for, you know, comfort of others in our day-to-day -day life. And this attitude is an elixir, I would call it, for strengthening our spirits when we are confronted with a trauma. This is one sure technique, you know, greatly relieving us of our problems. And one must try to learn these mod modalities in the peacetime, as I call it. Uh, like a soldier, we say that, you know, sweat saves the blood. So, in the peacetime means when we are not, uh, you know, having a problem, that's the time we should develop this, you know, empathy for others. Now, I will uh, talk, you know, a little about the time in ICU, which was basically, you know, strengthening my uh, sense of religiosity. For a believer, I would be, I say that the biggest relief is uh, the strong confidence that God Almighty is closer to us than Jagalu Ravine and uh, listens to the petition of the oppressed and relieves him of the affliction. This belief really turned into a certitude that night in ICU and I made uh, its memory strong and it made its memory strong source of strength for me instead of weakness. Religiosity is much more than merely a notion but is a living phenomena. And much more, you know, as a much more, as much reality like breathing or 
uh, heart pulsation. This is a matter of solid trust, a strong relationship with the only deity, the omnipotent, omniscient God Almighty. Imagine whenever I come across a wave of low spirits, I remind myself of this incident when God Almighty listened to my prayers and helped me, you know, wade through uh, the quagmire of pain, making it easy for me to bear the brunt of agony. Now, this experience is also shared uh, uh, in October, I think, 19th, as power of surrender, worth sharing prayer incident in the ICU. The link is given below. Now, again, this kind of preparation has to be done uh, before we come across the problem in our normal life, day-to-day life. Now, I regained a little um, more confidence when I was shifted from ICU into a room. I made a kind of pledge with God Almighty to give me health and I would devote my life for the service of humanity. And I hope uh, I am doing a little bit in this regard. Because I will give you the incident, uh, you know, which is really, uh, you know, which gave me great strength and where it started this idea of the recovery from all agonies, this, you know, forum and then this, play, uh, this you know, um, blog I made. And it's greatly helping me. And this is how, even if we are bedridden, we can be a source of strength for others. And that's what we are for each other. And the best of luck for us all.